So some of you may have been hearing a lot of talk recently about a series called Black Hammer. And if so, you might be wondering what this series is and whether or not it's for you. So in this video, I'll be answering some of the main questions you might have about the series in order to help you decide whether or not it's something you want to give it a read. So Black Hammer is a creator-owned series published by Dark Horse Comics. Issue 1 of the main comic series was published in July of 2016. So the series is kind of split into two categories. It has a main core series, which is just known as Black Hammer, and there are other mini-series that surround this main series that are known as the World of Black Hammer stories. So the main Black Hammer core series is written completely by Jeff Lemire, with art for the most part by Dean Ormston. The World of Black Hammer series are all written by Jeff Lemire, for now and i'll come to that a little bit later on and include him teaming up with various different artists depending on what mini series it is so black hammer is a superhero story with brand new but well fleshed out characters it has lemire's trademark small town vibe mixed with an epic superhero universe with a fully formed and well-defined history much of which is an amalgamation of various elements of the mainstream DC and Marvel superhero universes, but with its own clever spin on things. At the core of the main series is a mystery which drives the story forward and gives us insight into the lives and motivations of each character. So the initial premise is that 10 years ago, Black Hammer and six other superheroes had saved Spiral City from a giant cosmic entity named Anti-God. At the exact moment of their victory against Anti-God, the heroes find themselves unexpectedly transported to a farm in a mysterious town called Rockwood. Everyone in Spiral City assumes they heroically died at the climax of the battle, but no one in the town of Rockwood remembers them or any of the superheroes, whereas the heroes themselves, they still remember everything. Bad things happen when they try and leave the perimeter of Rockwood, so they've made a life for themselves by blending in with the inhabitants of the town. Not everyone is happy with this scenario though, and other events start to happen that will rock the boat for the heroes and their new small town life. At the core of the main series is a mystery which drives the story forward and gives us insight into the lives and motivations of each character. The main mystery being, why can't they leave this town? How are they trapped there? What happened to Spiral City? Why does no one in the town remember them? And how do they get home? Or do they want to get home? All of these questions drive the story forward. So the short answer is yes. All of the characters are new creations and their backstories are all explained during the course of the series. Pretty much every character is some kind of mashup or homage to an existing character from Marvel or DC history. However, it's really not necessary to understand any of these references in order to enjoy the series. The characters in the story would work completely in isolation of their comic book history roots. Any wider comic book knowledge that you gain after reading this series will only serve to make rereads of this series more fun and rewarding. Yes, in fact, any familiarity to existing Marvel DC characters and any general comic book history adds an incredible extra layer to the book. Existing comic book characters, tropes, and eras are all drawn upon in extremely clever ways, so any familiarity with these will be a massive bonus. As of December 2020, there are over 50 issues published, taking into account the main core series, plus the various mini-series. So all of these issues are being collected in various different formats, which I'll go into a little bit more detail about in a minute. Yes, so Jeff Lemmers spoke a little bit about how he's broken Black Hammer down into certain phases. And the way I see this is very similar to how the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been broken down into phases. So each phase represents a certain era of the universe as a whole, rather than each separate storyline within the universe. So for Black Hammer, phase one consists of the main storyline of the core series, plus a few extra mini-series that go alongside it quite nicely. So in terms of single issues, phase two has started, but it's very early days and I won't talk about that too much here. 
One cool thing about phase two is that Jeff Lemire seems to have opened up the writing duties to include other different creators, such as Jeff Johns, Scott Snyder, Patton Oswalt. Those writers and more have all started contributing to a mini series called Black Hammer Visions. So it looks like the universe could get expanded upon and contributed to by a whole load of other creators as well, which is quite exciting for the world of Black Hammer going forward. So if the talk of these phases and different mini-series is a bit daunting to you, don't worry. Um, you're not alone, and there is a good way around that, and I'll explain about that now. Obviously, you could read the series in its single-issue form, and that would be the best way to keep up to date with it as it's coming out. I think for a new reader starting out into the series, that might be a bit daunting at this point. So from there, you've got two further routes you could really go down, one of which is the trade paperbacks. Obviously, though, you still might need some guidance about which order to start reading them in. Um, so it's my preference, and the way I went with it was to start reading the library editions, which for me was a really good, easy way in, and I think following along the story will probably be the least confusing way to do it in terms of getting the proper reading order. So at the minute there are three library editions that have been released, and there are further two that have been solicited to be released shortly. The ones that exist at the minute are the Black Hammer Library Editions 1 and 2, and the World of Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 1. And we have coming out in February, I think it is, of 2021, we have the second World of Black Hammer Library Edition, and then later on in the year, the third World of Black Hammer Library Edition. So the way I read the book was to read the first library edition of Black Hammer, the first library edition of the World of Black Hammer, and then the second library edition of Black Hammer. That's how I've heard people online recommend that you read it, but after reading it, I really don't think there was any need to read the World of Black Hammer library edition kind of sandwiched in between the two Black Hammer library editions. It would be perfectly fine to read the Black Hammer volumes 1 and 2 back to back, and then afterwards read the World of Black Hammer. I don't think you would lose anything by doing that, really. If you're not too concerned about getting bogged down in the entire world of Black Hammer, you could totally just read the first two library editions. If you're the kind of person that is really only bothered about having a story with a beginning, middle, and end, library editions 1 and 2 are perfect for the kind of overarching story of the main cast of characters. If you wanted a little bit more information about what's contained in these library editions or the reading order of the trade paperbacks, there are a couple of handy guides that I've found online, one of which is an official Dark Horse blog post. Uh, they've said that they'd keep it up to date as new things come out. At the minute it's a little bit out of date still, but I imagine it might get updated at some point. And other than that, I found a really good one on Multiversity Comics that explains a little bit about the overall reading order of Phase 1, and it has a good comparison of the trade paperback reading order versus the library edition reading order and shows you what storylines are in which books and how they compare with the mapping. Hopefully it's not too daunting for you, but for me personally I recommend the library editions just because they seem like they would be the easiest one to follow going forward. So it's important to note that I've only read the first three library editions and not all the material available in other formats, but this does make up the majority of Black Hammer's first phase. So even with quite high expectations going in, I was still very impressed by the great character work, world building, and the clever ways that the existing comic book history has been worked into the series. This series is very much a love letter to the superhero genre. Even when it's poking fun at some of the tropes of the genre, it does so with absolute sincerity, respect, and love. The Core Black Hammer series is definitely easy to break down into two halves. The first half sets up and presents the mystery in a thought-provoking way that gets you asking all of the questions. The second half is where the series starts slowly uncovering the mystery and answering all of the questions. Because of this, I think the first half of the Core series is a little bit more of an exciting read than the second half, but that's natural in a lot of stories that centre around a mystery. It's not really a complaint. The answers provided in the second half of the story were all very satisfying. 
World of Black Hammer supplements some of the character motivations from the main series and also fleshes out the surrounding world to great effect. I'll definitely be picking up the upcoming library editions for the World of Black Hammer and following the series as long as it's putting out books in this format. So I hope this video was useful to anyone who's kind of on the fence about whether or not they want to get stuck into Black Hammer. And I hope anyone who wasn't sure about what the series was is a bit more clued in to what to expect. If you've read Black Hammer already, let me know what you think in the comments. Please let me know what you think about the format of this video. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. I'm thinking that if this is quite a useful format that I might do this kind of thing a bit more often with other series. So please let me know if you think I need to tweak it in any way. So thanks a lot for watching and see you at the next video.